when you first start up your MPC touch, you're going to see this touch screen display right here. It'll be like this right here. We are. And this is our section here for our project, right? And you want to make sure you got a good look to it. So there's a little button right over here. So right here, next to Q-Link number three, I can make it darker. And there's a button right close to Q-Link number two, I can make it brighter. So I'm going to make it darker and going to make it brighter. So we'll get just enough so I can see for this video. Perfect. So as you can see here, we've got some elements here on the window. So since it's multi-touch, that means we can touch it. So I'll touch right here, I can touch right here, I can touch right here, and I can do things like, for example, here, I can name this. Here's a little A right there. I click right there, and now the word unused appears here, and I can name it, right? I'm going to go back where I was at. I'll go right here, I'll say, set sequence name. Oh, that's the wrong one. Now, the most important thing to do is to load stuff in and out, right? So, you can do that by going to your browser. So, I press Menu, and here from the menu, we can see everything available on the MPC Touch. We can go anywhere. We can go to the grid view. Hit the wrong button there, you can see. Let's go back to menu. This is the track view. Here's the grid view. So be careful where you're touching. And this is our grid right here. Back to menu again. Here's a track view. This is our step sequence view. Here I have a browser. I can view my browser. I can load stuff from the browser directly from my multi-touch screen right here. This is really cool. And it's much easier than before. So for example here, I want to load some drone kits. So I'm going to go here and want to find out which one of these envelopes has it. And I do believe it's number two. I selected number two here, and next I want to select drum kits. So drum kits right there. I go to drum kits, and now as you can see here, I have some options right here, right above that. So all means it sees everything in that drum kit folder. This sign here is an icon for samples. I can see all the samples right here. This little square there with the four little pads like that's the program. And we see our program. You can tell it says .xp for program. Next to that, right here, this is our song. So these are the sequences that I can load in from right here. I can scroll up and down and find what I want to load. I can select the sequence, and then down here I selected something. I can load it. See right here, it says project, samples, project. I can move this cursor here, go over there closer. I can go here to audition, but here I want to load. So I load in that sequence. Now, I'm going to go back to program. I want to load the buster that goes along with it. We got the buster right here. We load it in. Oops. I'm going to go here to buster. I'm going to go here to buster and load that in. Yep. Replace that program I just loaded in. See that? It loads it in. Now, I want to see it. So I want to go back to main. I want to go to grid. And I loaded something in to my MPC software from right here with the multi-touch top of my MPC touch. This is a much cooler way to work. It's much more intuitive and you can actually work here without using a mouse and going back and forth and so on.